What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Troy ATXRC Productions again. So we woke up, and here we go. We got our first print. Um, we'll put it up on the screen pitch real quick. Just to show you what we printed. Um, again, thanks to Ian Solar, who designed this part for me, um, just to get it up and going. And, man, I got a lot to learn. I got to learn this CAD stuff, man, and get this stuff tweaked. But um, the design that we came up with, or I came up with, was a motor pod um, extension, if you would, for the LED light cover. And my goal is to provide a space to, originally it was going to put an addressable LED strip that you could then piggyback off the motor pod LED, uh, addressable LED connections, and hopefully put an external LED strip outside that was doing everything that the internal strip, uh, the internal LEDs were doing inside the pod. Um, this was for orientation and being able to see this thing at further distances and, and higher altitudes and out. Um, and doing some chatting with Philip Rouse, our head LDE of 3DR, um, comes to find out you can't piggyback the wiring harness. I thought that the wiring harness contained the signals possibly. He says that everything's actually driven off the board, so... He gave me some ideas as to how to do it, but for now, <clears throat> what we did was we created the motor pod extension, or I mean the LED pod extension for the bay to add just any kind of external strip. Now you might ask yourself, well, if you put a strip on there, how are you going to power it? That's where I implore all you guys that are doing the mods to obviously open up your motor pods. Inside you'll notice that you should be able to piggyback off the power, the negative and the positive power into in going into the ESC pod. So that's what my plan would be. If I was going to add an LED strip on the outside, I'm going to add an LED strip. I'm going to run the wire inside and into the pod and then connect it uh, solder point to the actual motor pod itself. Or even better would be to strip away the shrink tubing and directly wire it to the bullet connector on solo side that way, when you go to change a motor pod, you can actually leave the strip off, pull the pod out, unplug it, plug it back in, and you're actually piggybacking off the solo side. Uh, but that would be just the way that I would possibly do it. So, there we are, guys. Um, M3D printed piece. <clears throat> I'll tell you that, yes, <clears throat> I had some setup last night. Just me messing around and not knowing what was going on. It was printing a raft and I'm like, that's not the design and I stopped it. Well, that's just a raft, I should have left it. And what I mean by raft is this piece, and I'll sh you'll see it, here's a picture. This piece actually gets printed on the bed and then the piece actually pulls away from it. So that's what I meant. So there we go. Fly safe, fly smart, fly 3D off, print M3D. Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to quickly just say, um, any of you guys interested in the printer, M3, print M3D.com. Um, check it out. Use the link though below if you don't mind, please. Um, yes, it gives me a little support and takes care of uh, helping me get some supplies if you would. So um, they're supporting me in a little bit and I just really want to support them. So please utilize my affiliate link down below. Anybody that buys a printer from these guys, you can actually join their affiliate program really easily and quickly. Um, and it's another way just to kind of recoup a little bit of your money. Um, that being said, guys, I never push anything. Even if I'm an affiliate of their uh, company, I'm only an affiliate if I really truly believe in it. So, um, you know, not pushing something I don't believe in. So y'all uh, have a great day. Enjoy flying, man. Fly safe, fly smart. Fly 3DR, print in 3D. Peace. <laughs>